Hey, what's going on, crew? Welcome back in the Hidden Horse Ranch out on Elm Creek. Guys, we've, we've survived the winter. Not only survived, to be honest, we're kind of thriving right now, folks. We've gotten a, a few more horses in here for boarding right now. We're actually making quite a bit of money off this. There's been some, uh, some thoroughbreds, and uh, we've been doing some breeding. Yeah, you, you, were, you guys were kind of right. I shouldn't have stacked them. Get, get out. God, horses on my fences, too. No, 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 no. Stay down. Stay down. Yeah, that, that wasn't the best idea, but everything's kind of coming together now. But today we are building. It's build day. We've got, I've had enough of this. You know what? Everything's finalized. We've got our money. It's time to move along. This is going to stay here, but I've got a surprise to show you guys. Let's actually hop in the truck, which is over here somewhere. Yeah, guys, we've literally ran out of space on this farm. Look at this place. It's just like equipment everywhere. There's just no space. No space for storage whatsoever. So today, yeah, we're moving things up. We're going up to uh, greener pastures. I guess that's a thing. I got to show you what I bought. I got. I really got to show you what I bought. Fire this thing on up. I, you know what? We've had our eye on this for quite some time, and it just happened to come a bit up and available. I don't know the whole backstory on it. Maybe we'll find out at some point. But uh, you know what? Things are well. Things are good right now. So we might as well start trying to expand a little bit and uh, move along here. I've got a bunch of seed here on the back of this. It's kind of in my way, but whatever. It's coming with us for the ride. We're not going very far. We're not going very far. In fact, we're just out on the roadway and just. Out, out to the county just a touch here just a touch uh sinai uh hidden farm aloha overlook farm i, I don't know what we're gonna call this yet it, it's it's gonna be a horse ranch but this is it well it's not even a farm yet to be honest with you guys here let's just pull up to the ranch house here pull on in shut this thing down yep um older house on a nice little plot of land yeah there's a lot of work that has to happen today we're gonna be doing a ranch build today guys it's gonna be a nice ranch build we're gonna be we're focusing on our horses once again down in this field right in behind us we're gonna build a little ranch back on on here no i really do like the way this this whole place sits on this land up here we've got it's a little bit of a bluff that sits over top of the the rest of the land you got a, a creek down on the uh far side there just kind of runs down through that valley of course we could kind of see the town site in the distance there you got the water tower out there but that is the the highway that's one of the downsizes to this or the downsides to this this farm is well we do have a highway that kind of goes right through the backyard almost you know what it's okay we'll make do we'll find a way to to minimize that as much as we can but you know what it sits nicely on this front i'm not sure how i feel about this style of driveway i don't know what do you guys think do you like the u-shaped driveways I, I i don't mind them you never have to back in anywhere a little shed on the side there for the lawnmower i guess but uh we need to make some adjustments to this and make it look a little classier i think with some fences up but yeah this field back here guys this is gonna be the focus this is gonna be disappearing this is gonna be turning into our ranch stables our, our horse stables all back in here i think i've got an idea what we're gonna do there's a roadway that goes down below we also have farmland off to the east i believe down that way over there uh all the way past and around that other house that's all ours as well all this farmland is all ours we can do what we want with this stuff now guys so it's been sitting here they've been prepping it but uh we're turning this into well it's gonna be our ranch lands so you're in for a build today let's get down to business let's build this place
true. Bones or the bones are in. At least that's a start for now. Um, I'll, I'll show you my thinking here on what we're going on. Uh, if we go down to the far end, of course, the main road, I'm still, I need some tweaking. We need to do some decorating, of course, make this look nice and good. It's going to take a little bit of work, but, you know, easy roadway access. It's actually a little steeper than I was thought when we came up at the top here. This could give us some troubles with some of our, um, some of our livestock trailers. We'll see how I'm going to work with this. I may have to, to flatten this out a little bit. Now, the one thing that we haven't done, you saw me struggling with this here at the end. I'm trying to figure out what to do in this quarter. I want more equipment storage down in this neck of the woods. And um, I had a plan to put that larger shop here, but it doesn't really fit nicely in this little section right here. Unfortunately, it just does not have enough room. So I got to come up with something. I may just go with one of the smaller shops for now. And uh, that, you know what? It'll look fine. I'll build it there. I think it'll be okay. Now we do have two different, we have two different uh, horse pens. We got one, uh, one right, well, right here. It's going to hold a few horses. Uh, you got the pen in the back, of course. It's all fenced in. And then we have the actual stable over on this side here. Looks pretty good. That worked out fairly well. And, you know, it's kind of a tight little space to, to access it right here. But it's it's actually not that bad. It's it's comes around the corner here. Uh, you got some shrubberies and everything. The highway's right there. You can't even really see it, though. It's kind of hidden by the shrubs, so... That's all good. Of course, we can get inside this building and uh, we should be able to drive right on through if we ever need to. I don't think we should ever need to just bring in some hay, basically, and that's all on the far side. And then literally across the little roadway we made here that it's a little bit bigger than I was planning. I might have to add some grass down the far side here, but we do have the the large open pasture right here that we've built. Uh, I do need to put a gate right down here, I think. I'm going to put a gate right down here. We do have actually, you know what the cool thing about this? OK, so we have the um, the the shelter right here. So if it's inclement weather, the horses are here, they've got a place they can kind of get some refuge at least. But to be honest, I didn't even plan this until I started building and I was trying to place this shop building down. Now I plan on having this for just some covered shopping or shop areas for possibly some hay bales and, and the like. And I realized, of course, it's got a doors off the front, but it also has doors off the side that we can use um, to access our our pen, our, our, uh, our horse stable here, guys. So not even really a stable, our horse pen basically, yeah. So it's actually pretty good this way. This this actually worked out really well. I wasn't even thinking about this until I slapped her down. We need to make it look a little bit prettier, of course. But um, yeah, guys, this is actually a really good shop building for this because of the way it accesses off the side. Now, I do have a larger one that I thought about placing here as well. But the hillside, I'm just worried the hillside's going to cause me some issues. It's not that big. I'm finding that most of the buildings I have are a little bit too big for this. So... We're going to have to work with what we got. I, I'm really happy with the way this is laid out, though, right now. Uh, kind of keeping it coming so you come down the road, one roadway and you have access to everything down here. We do have, like I said, this field over here, another field that's a little bit further down. So this could be a little bit of a centralized location to start storing some equipment. We do have to, have to get back on that main road up top there to access a bunch of the other roads or a bunch of the other fields. But whatever, this is going to work out pretty well. Let's, uh, let's do some more decorating, make this look a little bit prettier, shall we?
that's gonna do it for that, I think, guys. I think, I don't know. I think we did a thing. We definitely did a thing. So I'm still struggling to find ways of ending our fence lines. I didn't really want to combine this all the way down below, so I usually just throw some shrubs up here. Uh, what do you guys usually do? Let me know in your comments. Do you guys end fences like this? Do you bury them into the ground? Do you always try to find something to butt them up against? I don't know. I like to have something rather than just a fence post because I find just that looks ugly to me. So I always try to cover it with something. Uh, not exactly happy with where the bins are. It's a, it's a really big slope in here. So we're going to have to deal with this a little bit. It might be a bit of a fight at times. We've got two bins. We're only going to be doing two crops. So i got a bin for each of our crops. But I should have enough room to uh, stick that big auger. Uh, so when we fill, we can stick it kind of out on the main road here. The only problem is if you have to get by when you're dumping your load with other equipment, that could be a fight. This hill's going to suck no matter what I do right now. I don't know what to do with this, but we're going to try and suffer our way through as best we can, I suppose. What are you going to do? We, we need some silos. Farmhouse is looking oh, okay. It, I tried something different here. I'm not exactly the most artistic person. I, I don't know. I don't know what else I could have done for this little uh, half traffic circle. What do you guys do? Do you guys do anything different? I wanted to, I, I usually put a big tree. Unfortunately, power lines are causing a bit of an issue with that, as you can see. I would love to get some kind of a paver stones or something around this thing. Um, I need to figure something else. So it's still maybe to put some grass in there. I don't know yet. You know what? It looks all right. We got rid of most of the, the shrubbery around the fence line. So it looks pretty good as you're driving by. More fence line down that side as well. Ooh, I need to put some more shrubs on that one there. It's still wide open. But other than that... I think it looks pretty good in here, guys. That's a pretty inviting little driveway. Comes in, you got your house, and then, of course, yeah, you walk up on this little back deck here around the back, and you got all your farmland, the valley down. Like, it looks good. It looks really good. So there you have it, the new K-Sims. Yeah, the, well, it used to be the Hidden Ranch. The Hidden Horse Ranch. I don't know what we're going to call this new ranch, guys. You're going to have to give me some uh, some new ideas on some names on this one. Uh, it, it looks pretty big, though. I mean, look at the size of this place. Pretty good. we got lots of horses. Lots of horses coming in already. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Of course, if you wanted to see how this whole series started out, make sure you check on the video in the card there. That is the video intro one of the uh, well, the roleplay series here with us and the crew. Go check that one out. There's a whole set of videos in this series. So go check that one out. And other than that, folks, I will catch you guys next time from the horse ranch on Elm Creek. This is Clutch. Over and out.